My name is Dr. Bill Nicole. I am a chiropractor and certified applied clinical nutritionist with a special expertise in diabetes prevention and prediabetes reversal. Today, I'm going to shock you with information that could potentially save lives. So let's start with a simple question. Did you know that almost one out of four people in America are either diabetic or prediabetic? According to the CDC, 57 million Americans are prediabetic and 24 million are diabetic. This disease can damage the heart, kidney, eyes, and other organs that often only surface in middle age and accepted by many doctors as simply a part of the aging process. In the next 24 hours, 2,200 people will be diagnosed with diabetes. Over 500 will die from it, and almost 20, 220 will go blind or you'll have an amputation. There are more complications, including heart disease, high blood pressure, nervous system damage, liver disease, and Alzheimer's. Why is there an epidemic of diabetes? While there is a genetic component to diabetes, people have full control as to whether they get it or not by the choices they make in their diet and exercise. The core problem has to do with people's eating habits and its consequences that include excessive weight and especially abdominal fat, lack of nutrients as people eat junk and processed foods, and lack of exercise. You can see our food habits have changed over time with just sugar and grain consumption, almost a 40-fold increase with sugar alone. Are you wondering where all the sugar is coming from? There are, these are the typical foods people eat. They all have high carbohydrate content, which can be as unhealthy as refined sugar if, eat, if you eat too much of it. Eating junk food will increase refined sugar, sodium, and saturated fat while reducing vegetables, fibers, key minerals, omega-3 fats, vitamins, antioxidants, and beneficial probiotic bacteria. Adding to the problem is the increase in portion size and calorie intake since the 70s. Portion sizes were about half what they are today. How has our eating habits affected us? Look at our weight 20 years ago. No state had a high obesity rate, and most were less than 10%. Today, no state has an, has an obesity rate below 10%, and most are over 25%. In addition, our health care system is not promoting prevention. We're waiting for the disease conditions to set in, and then we manage the disease. We are already seeing the effects of disease care system on companies and individuals. The status quo is not sustainable, especially when the CDC is predicting that if nothing changes out of all the infants born today, one out of three will become diabetic as adults. The bad news is there's no silver bullet to solve the problem, but the good news is diabetes is preventable. Let's analyze the progression of diabetes. As we said, for most people it starts with bad eating habits that result in excess weight and nutritional deficiencies. Over time, this leads to insulin resistance where people start noticing high levels of blood glucose resulting from defects in insulin production and receptor sensitivity that causes sugar to build up in the body. In conjunction with these changes, people are starting to notice elevated lipid levels such as triglycerides and LDL cholesterol. However, years before people are diagnosed with diabetes, they are in a pre-diabetic zone but what's crazy about our health care system is that the typical physician will monitor elevated blood sugar levels and then wait for people to become diabetic and then begin giving them the medication. What is not explained is that for about 90% of the people who do go on conventional care and diabetic medication, the complications are not prevented. So what is conventional care for diabetes and prediabetes? Some will be prescribed high blood pressure medication or a statin drug. Once they're diabetic, people are put on a certain diabetic medication or recommended an eating plan that is useless and, in fact, can even be dangerous for people with diabetes. These steps do not get the condition under control. Under 12% of diabetics being treated with medication have their blood pressure, blood sugars, and cholesterol under control. 
The simplest way to beat the disease is to prevent it. This was proven in a landmark study in 2001 that showed prediabetes can be prevented from becoming diabetes with weight management, eating, correct eating habits, and regular exercise. The easiest way to determine if you are a prediabetic is to answer a questionnaire available with this presentation that will highlight probability of prediabetes. So how can prediabetes reversal be accomplished? First, we need to get rid of abdominal fat as it drives metabolic, metabolic syndrome. People will then see immediate changes as damaging in inflammation, uh, inflammatory chemicals released by fat cells are reduced. People also need to have healthy food habits, optimally eating three times a day, fruits, veggies, and fiber in combination with protein, which gives the body crucial amino acids needed to build muscle mass instead of fat and minimizing eating junk food. The nutritional deficiencies are important because people who are prediabetic are deficient in zinc, chromium, magnesium, and are low in essential fatty acids. And exercise is always recommended, even if it's just walking 20 minutes a day. To make all this possible, a structured system needs to be used. My system works like this. I have people eat according to a meal plan that puts their body into a biochemical state to burn excess fat, especially abdominal fat, while not having any hunger. In between the meals, a nutritional snack is taken to prevent any cravings, as people will be on an elimination diet. There will be one program for men and one for women. Seven different meal plans are provided, so there are seven suggested breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. And that way, people don't get bored with their meals. If the suggestion of 60 grams of beef or 35 grams of spinach for dinner is not appealing, you have a simple way of substituting the protein or carb as shown. A four-page symptom questionnaire is completed before the eating plan is started, and the same questionnaire is completed at the end of three weeks. Here are the 14 conditions we will evaluate. The results of the questionnaire may show four severes, six moderates, and four mild conditions. However, the challenge is to know the root cause of the symptoms, such as bad food habits, excessive weight, nutritional deficiencies, or a chronic condition. As you go on to an elimination diet and lose excess fat, the changes in the responses to the same questionnaire three weeks later can give great insight into the root cause of your symptoms. The new results may now change to one severe, two moderates, and four mild. To a trained specialist, this provides a wonderful insight into the root cause of your symptoms and a roadmap on steps needed to prevent diabetes and promote wellness. All this information will be provided and explained at the end of the three weeks where an action plan is provided to cover one, abdominal fat status and how much more weight needs to be lost. Two, blood sugar support needs if unhealthy eating habits are resumed. Three, existence of potential food sensitivities or allergies that may need addressing. Four, possibility of chronic conditions needing attention. Five, correcting nutritional deficiencies to prevent chronic conditions from developing. And six, a host of other important wellness markers that will be explained at the meeting. If these wellness markers are ignored, over time, they will become disease conditions. A great example of this is diabetes that is costing America $174 billion a year because people are waiting to become a diabetic instead of preventing it. So don't be the last one to jump onto the prevention bandwagon. The greatest gift of health you can give yourself is to determine if you are pre-diabetic, and if so, take the required steps needed to reverse this condition before it's too late and in the process experience weight loss, increased energy, better sleep, and overall wellness. Thanks again for listening. To learn more about diabetes prevention, go to www.reverseprediabetes.com forward slash Dr. Nicole or give me a call at 713-781-3114. Thank you.